generally, as I said, they don't come in because they think they have pathological narcissism. They come in for some other reason. There's usually some kind of instrumental reason that brings them to treatment. A relationship is being threatened, and they need that relationship. Something hasn't worked out at work. You know, they've gotten a bad evaluation, they didn't get a promotion, or they built a building and it wasn't lionized the way they expected. I mean, there's usually some kind of disappointment. You know, the important thing to recognize about grandiosity, it's very brittle, and it breaks down very easily. And people can have depressive reactions when they're not getting what they think they should be getting. They feel empty, they feel hopeless, they feel like meaning is drained out of their life. So it's more like a kind of anhedonia. They feel despairing sometimes, or they can become extremely anxious. So often symptoms of depression and anxiety are what they show up with, and they feel lonely. This is another thing that brings people to treatment. Having a grandiose self-structure is very isolating. Um, Why? Because people, as I said, are used as sources of admiration, and that's different from genuine love. Those with narcissistic pathology, one of the major symptoms is the incapacity to love fully. And if one can't really love and have mutual exchanges that deepen as one goes on in a relationship where there's mutual sharing, transformative experiences, which come from a deepening intimacy. If one doesn't have that, if one's relationships are superficial, over time one could actually feel very lonely. Um, also, mortality looming. Individuals become aware that they're not gonna live forever, that you know there's certain things that they haven't had in their life, and often, the lack of intimacy, the lack of love, the lack of deep relationships. Um, in many cases, people have postponed having children. They've postponed any kind of deep commitment, and that leaves them isolated and alone. Or if there's been a loss, those with narcissistic pathology have a very difficult time with mourning. They really can't mourn. They might turn to substance abuse to deal with the loss or you know, act out in other ways, and so that's often what brings them to treatment, is masked mourning. So usually there is something beyond the fact that somebody has said to them, a parent, a partner, you know, you have to go to treatment or I'm leaving. Because often those people will just say fine and then they'll end the relationship. And there has to be something there that's bringing them to treatment.